And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm now, John Chomby. Pretty decent win streak on the line in this one, Chris. This team has been doing all the little things right now. Being able to hit in situations and hit with runners in scoring position. When you look over the course of a long season, you're going to be successful. It's doing the little things right. Just about set to go. And today on the hill, Max Freed. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that. That offense. Good look to turn in another quality start in this one. Mark Cannon. Mark Cannon takes a ball here as he stands in now. The lefty to 1-0. Popped up. And there's one away. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The right fielder, number nine. Brandon Nimmo. In there for strike one. Left hand batter waits. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone safe at first as they can't make the play batting third Starling Marte up to hit Starling and yeah, that's in there for strike one free he's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really off balance feet there's one and it's a double play to end the inning. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Bottom of the first. And on the hill, the big righty, Max Scherzer. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so stop. expect to see more of the same in this one. The pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field, and there's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. All over that one right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Fought off foul. Molitor on second. Acuna on at first with nobody out. That's a laser base hit. Molitor coming home. Davis with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And it's 1 0. That's three singles in a row. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Matt Olson. Batting four. The first baseman. Matt. Hammer oh, down sir. the right side, but foul. Yeah, he throws strikes, and, you know, he's got the command to be in the zone, be effective, but just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher, Boog, and throwing the pitch. And that one pulled foul. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Right 
grounder into the outfield for a nine. One run is in. Another comes in to score, and they're up by three. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Third baseman. Austin. And that one fouled off. It's an interesting thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Austin Riley goes deep. His seventh home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's five zip. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the law, and gets the home run. Here's Marcelo Zuna, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. Yeah, I think the other part, though, as well, is it goes both ways because I think that guys at times are more than willing to give up walks because they'll come back and strike the next guy out. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting seven. Adam Duvall at the plate. Adam Duvall. And he grounds one back up the middle. Toss to Alonzo, and they got him. Batting eight. Two outs, base is empty. Here Albee. is Ozzy Albies up to him. And a rope into center field, base hit. And that extends his hitting streak yet again. This is starting to get pretty interesting, Singy. Yeah, and the way he's going, it seems like there's no end in sight. This is a guy that no pitcher wants to face right now, especially with runners on base. I mean, he's doing all the little things right, and it just seems like he's in. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. So Back here in Atlanta, top of the second, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. The first baseman, Pete. Out Alonso. to short. Throw on to Olsen. One up, one down. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. The third baseman, J.D. Now it's J.D. Davis. In there, and it's 0-1. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Over near the wall. Tarno puts the squeeze on that one. And a couple of quick outs. That is it. Dom Smith stands in. Dominic. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Acuna able to make the grab. And that is that. Down in order go the Mets. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves. Paul Molitor. For the Braves. The right-hander back to work. Paul Molitor. Lined and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Up next for Atlanta. That ball was no absolutely fielder. ripped. Ronald 111 Acuna. off the bat. Junior. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And that one's gone. He'll touch them all. His 14th of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0.
That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. How is that fastball out of here? Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Taiwan Walker. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Now batting, center fielder, Joe Rigo. On a line, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. He's in there. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. To the right side. McNeil gets it to first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Up next for Atlanta. The third baseman. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. He's already homered in this game. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. That one ripped left field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. His second home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 9-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Next for Atlanta, the designated hitter. Line drive, base hit. Oh, and it kicks off the base of the wall. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you the bobble right fielder, it or you 14. don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make Adam. you look silly and end up on second base. In the air, out towards right center. Can't get there, base hit. Ozuna, around third. He will score. It's 10-0. Marte gets it in quickly. And the runner holds it third. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. The batter, number one, second baseman, Ozzie. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Toss to Alonzo. Out number two and another run comes in. The left-hander on now, Joey Lucchese. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Out to center. Stretches out and holds it in. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. We head up. Back at Truist Park. And now it's Frankie Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. In the air, right field. Duvall under it. Balls it in, and there's one away. And here comes the power hitting catcher, Gary Sanchez. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now it's going to be Jeff McNeil. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. The 1 0. In the air, left field. Acuna makes the catch, and there's two down. Here's Mark Canna. First time up was a pop out. Canna. 
check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The right field, number nine. Just one of those seeing eye Randy. base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get hey. you a knock. Nimmo batting for the second time, and that's strike one. That's Next offering misses, and that's ball one. The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. All these handles. No play, that's an infield single. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Pretty much did the opposite of what you want to do with the pitch on the outside part of the plate like that. Just rolled over, but good hustle down the line and got the infield knock. Marte stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Bounce to the left side. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Here's Pete Alonso. Grounded out his first time. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Good eye right there. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Two outs. Bases are full. Now, good job at damage control right there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves 11 and the Mets 1. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Welcome here Braves. is... Paul Molitor. That's shortstop. Paul Molitor. The pitch. Hit weakly on the ground, and it goes just foul. That one the other way. Sends it to first. One up, one down. The no left here. Here's Acuna now. Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Left field, way back there. And gone. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they tack one on the board. It's 12-1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Next to hit, Joe Rios. Now batting, the center fielder, Joe. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. The wide to kick the pitch. That one hammered left field, way back there. And forget it. So he just clears the wall. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 13 1. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. The first base and now Matt Olson yeah. up to hit. Swings oh, through that yeah. one. 0-1. Oh, and, and a pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. And 
And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. Just a hammer 12 6 curveball right there, Boo. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12 6 break, but he does. And you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Here's Austin Riley. Out to short. Inning over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Three innings. Back here in Atlanta, start of the fourth. Here's the third baseman, J.D. Davis. The third baseman. There's a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And that one is lifted in the air. Rios has a beat on it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound the to bring that win two. streak to a halt. Hitter. Now it's Dominic, Dominic Smith. Smith. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. And here it comes. That one drifts inside. Smith, the base runner at first with one out. And the next pitch is way outside. Next offering is fouled back. The 2-2. That one fouled off. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field pretty well struck that one back there and that is gone. Francisco Lindor sends it out his second of the year and they cut into the deficit. It's 13 three knew what pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this hit bat was very patient and it paid off in today's game. You look at exit velocity yeah, as a measure of process, Gary. and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. Slice down the right side. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Got him looking. And yeah, there's two away. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can McNeil in the box now no balls in a strike on the ground right side to first out. third out Mets had two runs on this blast to the bottom of inning number four now Major League Baseball is on the show Welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading Liga. off the bottom of the Fourth fourth, the Marcelo Zuna. The designated hitter. Marcel. Oh, this Zuna. one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Woo. He was all right over that Number first 14. pitch fastball. Just Adam. barely missed it. Man, Huge this guy ball. was ready to hit.
Slice to right. Nimmo settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies. Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Mets' leadoff man, Mark Cannon. The, the left fielder, Mark. And first offering Cannon. is fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Nope, that's off that's the mark. And that is ball one. Count is one and two. The wind and the pitch. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And now the lefty. And fouled off. And a foul ball. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth oh, pitch of just about every at bat. The right fielder. So digging in, Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Okay. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very the frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Here's Starling Marte. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Out towards right center field, Rios on the move to his left. He's got it, and that ends the inning. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the catcher comes up to him, Travis Darno. The catcher, Travis Darno. The pitch. In the air, left field. Canna under it and out number one on the grab. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead now of batter. staying closed. Not if he does top. that, he's going to be Whoa. able to go up the middle the other way with some authority oh, yeah. instead of a fly out to left. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Canna makes the catch and there are two outs. Up next for Atlanta. And here Ola is Cooper. Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he hits a ground ball right side. On the run, sends it over to first. And that'll do it. Back at Truist Park, top of the sixth inning. And here's the first baseman, Leading Pete Alonso. The, the first baseman. He, that's in for a strike. Alonzo. And a pitch. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And that takes care of Alonzo. And there's one down. Now battle. Now it's JD Davis. JD Davis. JD Davis. And that's in there for strike one. Hey. 
Fouled off left side. And he deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now batting, designated hitter. Dominic. And next is the designated hitter, Dominic Smith. On the ground to the left. And that'll do it. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. Braves on top, 13 to... Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. Lady up for the Braves. The center field. Yo, Rio. Lucchese back to work. On the ground, right side. McNeil gets oh. it to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Now fly ball to right center. Two up, two down. Now that the third baseman. Off there. Runway. Up next, Austin Riley. He's got a couple homers already, so could he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the bit. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's Francisco Lindor. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Francisco Lindor takes him deep. Third home run of the season, and they close the gap. It's 13-4. I got to believe when a pitcher releases a breaking ball up out of his hand, he just hopes that it stays really high so that the hitter has no chance of swinging. Well, no luck there. That is a hard hit ball and a home run. It's Gary Sand. Chess. Now batting. One for That's two. Gary Sand. Here comes the manager out of the Braves dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Juan Marichal. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is popped up. Molitor puts it away, and there's one down. That hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating yeah. when you miss that pitch McNeil. and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Next pitch is popped up. Tarno makes the play. That's out number two. Nevada. Mark Canna. Up now for the Mets. Mark. For the fourth yeah. time tonight. Stan Usual getting loose.
Jones there. He's now in the game at first. Now playing first base. Number six. Stan. And a pop up right side foul territory. And that is that. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's Major League Baseball on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Drew Smith. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And now, Marcelo Zuna, one for three. The pitch. Leading up for the Braves. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Marte makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The right fielder. And next for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall. Rocketed out towards right center. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself now, it's about the process. The he did everything right, right oh, there. Dude. Nothing to show for it. Oh, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Albies at the plate with two away, swings through that one. Movement in the bullpen. Seth Lugo up and throwing. May getting loose as well. The 0 1. Right side. He'll do it himself. It. And that is the third out of the inning. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. The right fielder, number nine. Brandon. And that one wrapped foul. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, only two now. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One down. Starling Marte. We'll hit next. Orlando Arcia comes on defensively now as he takes over as the new second baseman. A defensive change for the Braves. In there for strike one. Number 11. Orlando Righty delivers. Arcia. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The punch out there. Back to back strikeouts. Now, Pete Alonso. Alonso. In there, and it's 0 1. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. Stays alive. Man, so close to the immaculate inning as that foul ball spoils it. He's pounding the zone right now, though. And that one is lifted in the air. Duvall makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here in Atlanta, here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. Leading up for the Braves, the catcher, Travis. Dardo. The right hander back to work. Late swing fouled off. That one out to right. Nimmo under it. Brings it in. One away. Now batting. Back Short to the stop. top of the lineup. Ball. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Paul Molitor. Up the middle. Lindor collects. 
throws it away. Not in time. He's safe. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Man at first with one gone. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. That one's in there, 0 and 1. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. Only two now. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. He flexes his power with that swing. That's his third home run of the game. It's 15 4. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three home game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. So digging in, Joe Brios. This now guy is one of the best the athletes in the sport. Joe. Rolled Brio. over to third. Oh, a great grab on the dive. On the money, nice play. A quick move to his left, fully extended the there in front six. of the shortstop to make the grab. Yeah. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a big power throw. Stan usual. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Now the 0-1. Fall off foul. Lifted in the air right center field. Nimmo raging back towards the wall. And he makes the catch. And the inning is over. Acuna goes yard for the Braves. Last chance coming up here for the Mets. We go to the ninth and stepping in for New York, J.D. Davis. Leading off with the Mets, William Contreras, the, third base the new catcher now. J.D. Davis. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Brian Wilson. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Hammer, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So up next for New York, Dominic Smith. And that's in there for strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Runner tags at second. And he's in safely at third with one out. The batter, the shortstop. You know it's a good play when we break out Statcast for you folks. He took a great route and found himself in position to make a nice running catch. Just excellent work. Yeah, he really showed off his wheels on that play. And I know that always gets you excited, Singy. Exactly 100 feet for that out. Lindor, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. 
Davis takes his lead at third with one away. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Bounced up the middle. Base hit and a run in to score. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Sanchez, batting with one down, takes a strike. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, he stays alive. Going to now. And down on strikes he goes. And two away now. Mets down to their final out. Jeff McNeil stands in. In there for strike one. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, another night, another win. This team is a must-watch right now. Even if it goes late, there's a rain delay, extra innings. People are going to stay up late to see this streak continue. 15-5 the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah.